All right. We're back. We're back. Screw Castlevania 4. Screw it! Uh, I'm gonna clear data. Clear all data. Alright. This is Tangle Deep. I think Dawn of the Dragons was added since the last time I played this, so I... But I'm not sure. So I don't know exactly what Dawn of the Dragons has in, in store for it. It's got nice art, nice sprite stuff. It's a dungeon crawler with roguelike elements. Because everybody's super freaking butthurt about the phrases roguelikes whenever you're whenever you use them incorrectly. Anyway, we're gonna start. Uh, I, I've deleted all of my data from the last time I played this because I don't remember how to play. Uh, I just remember having fun with it. So we're just gonna create a new one. For untold generations, my people have lived deep within the earth, surrounded by verdant subterranean forests, sparkling waters, and crystalline luminance. We all have a special connection to this world, a bond with nature we call the touch. You got the touch! You got the power! Some are born with an abundance of touch, which fills them with a sense of adventure and urge to explore the wilds beyond our home. All with the touch inherit the appearance of animals. And sometimes when we fully experience the touch, we are drawn to Tangle Deep, an ever-changing labyrinth that leads upward to a world no one has ever seen. I have never felt the touch, unlike many others in my home of Riverstone Camp. Yet there is so much I want to learn about Tangle Deep. Today, I have decided I will go there and find my own answers. Now, this is a special thing. This is a special thing. Uh, you can start a new game, or you can start a challenge. You know? You got a daily challenge or weekly challenge. And I've never played those because I don't care. Each challenge has a predetermined dungeon layout, starting job feats, and game modifiers. Yeah, I, I don't care. There's no reason for me to do that. But then you get to choose your game mode. If you reach zero hit points, the game ends. Permadeath. Only banked goods and town progress will be saved. This is challenging, but also the intended way to experience Tangle Deep. Or adventure mode, where you just return to town. Uh, but you lose half your money... Unspent job points and experience progress. Recommended for roguelike beginners. Then hardcore, uh, where everything is erased whenever you lose, and you can't like build stuff up. And then this is th this one's new. This Ronin mode, uh, a challenge quest for challenging quest for experienced players. Get only one job with a set of random abilities. Huh. Experience strange and random encounters. Now we're gonna be playing on heroic. Uh, I'm probably gonna die multiple times, but that's what we're gonna do. Uh, and this is our little ginger that we play as. Uh, and we can be a brigand, which I think is kind of like the cannon class, because she's kind of wearing this outfit in the in the like the artwork. Uh, but I'm not sure. And each of these has a a difficulty for its play style, you know? Uh, and Brigands are a dirty fighter that relies on subterfuge, high mobility, and striking enemy weak spots for massive damage. Mm -hmm. Tier 1 passive bonus. Welcome back to you as well! I've just been going through how the how the game works. Uh, 
And these are the, the classes that, that we can choose. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be yet. I'm going to reread these until I remember. Uh, I remember I used to have this class right here unlocked, but since I, I'm, I deleted everything and I'm starting a new... I don't have it anymore, and that was the one that I got the farthest, farthest with. That one's like a, uh, like a beast kind of thing where you, you're able to learn monster abilities. And so I had this, like, fire breath ability that was really good. Uh, chance to inflict bleed with melee attacks, bonus stamina, swiftness, strength, and guile. Bleed effects last two extra turns and can be toggled to do poison damage. Drop a firebomb every time you use cloak and dagger or shadow step. Uh, so I'm, I'm willing to, to play as whatever uh, anybody is interested in. Because it's, like, overall, it all goes to the same thing, you know? Even though it's permadeath, you, I, I'm, I'm playing on heroic where I get to keep some of my like town progress and pets and stuff. But I just have to have a new ginger every single time. Uh, Floromancer is pretty cool. You get to you get summons. You get to summon little plant monsters. Like the hat on the archer? This one? I've never played a hunter. But... I'm willing to. Or do you mean this one? The casty archer. That's a soul keeper. Uh, I have played a soul keeper before. They're... They're kind of iffy. But that was the character that I got the the second farthest with. Uh, and you have to, like... In order to use your abilities, you have to take, like, soul pieces from enemies or something like that. So you actually have to beat enemies in order to use their the abilities, but it, it's pretty pretty cool pretty strong is that your choice spell shapers are freaking weird like I, I I played a spell shaper once and I I couldn't get the handle the hang of it for some reason all right let's let's choose soul keeper then wow that's weird All right, we're Kate. Select two feats. These are permanent bonuses. Uh, take an instant one square move before enemies react. No. Start with extra HP and gain more each level. That's always helpful. Fast learner, gain extra job points. Use to learn abilities. That would be helpful too. Examining enemies reveals more detailed info. Monsters are less aggressive towards you. Heal more when you use your flask. Entrepreneur, find more money, sell items for more profit. All food tastes better and is more effective. Find more and better loot. I'm thinking about going with toughness and scavenger. Yeah, yeah. And then you can change game difficulty modifiers, too. Like, uh, if you want to make things easier, uh, the, use the green ones. These can be, like, better or worse. Depending. And then these are just all terrible for you. And I'm not going to use any. 
All right. Oh, we're going to get uh, more health and uh, better loot. Surrounded by enemies? Try an axe to hit them all at once. Some live in the present, others the future. But I am interested in the echoes of yesterday. There are many memories. Something, something, something. Alright. So, this is our Kate. Our Soul Keeper level 1. Uh, these are my stats. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forget about it. Uh, okay, so I start with a training crossbow. Cool. Damage based on swiftness. Nothing anywhere else. And you can have four weapons equipped at a time. Learn abilities. Uh, I have 250 job points. Could learn Aether Barrage. Uh, do, 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 do. Reverberate monster. Fires a salvo of shadow bolts in a wide area, uses an echo charge to extend its range. Uh, I'm gonna go with the summon soul shade first. Because I'll need three uh, echoes to make a, a summon, but for 30 turns I'll have I'll have help and that's that's good. To the spirit realm and become invisible briefly during which enemies cannot attack you. Restores the form of a fallen monster through its echo to fight for you revived monsters last 80 turns. Right. All right. I only need one And picked up a box of mints. Welcome to Nando's. I've got the finest food and the smoothest moves. Want to buy some? Some food, that is. Uh, you mean I can't buy your moves? All right. Outstanding, Huff Huff. I start with the best all natural ingredients, locally sourced, of course. Kick it up with a pinch of secret spice blend. And that's it. Eat food to recover stats quickly, but you'll need time to digest. So don't just pig out whenever. Yeah, food is incredibly, incredibly useful. Uh, 25 energy over 10 turns, 36 energy over 10 turns, and 21 stamina over 10 turns. I don't want to buy that, though. Tangle Deep has as many tails as leaves and branches. Legends stand tall like ancient trees. But they're grounded in winding roots and countless stories. Would you like to make some stories of your own? Sure. Here's one way to make a name for yourself. These, these are, like, little side quests. <laughs> Try Haunted Cave Stalker. I have a challenge for you. Defeat three Cave Stalker using the power of shadow. You only need to land the finishing blow with that element. Cave Stalker can be found in many places, such as cedar caverns. This is our bank, which on heroic mode I can put stuff in there and keep it for later. This is our wardrobe where you can change your appearance. And that's just to change like your sprite. Uh, no. Get out of here. This guy up here teaches you, like, weapon skills. 
Uh, the winding threads of destiny are fraught with peril. Neither the quill nor the spoken word will save you. Trust only the blade of the axe, the feathers of the bow, and your own fighting spirit. Return to me once you have become advanced in your job, and I will teach you the paths to weapon mastery. <gasps> You've arrived, Nya! Best day ever! You and me are gonna get along so great. We're going to take such good care of each other, and you're climbing all the way to the top, the tippy top of Tangle Deep. See my loots, swords, and boots. Be prepared for any route. You can do it. You're so peppy. It's a family tradition. My sisters and I just love adventures like you. We think you're the coolest and the strongest and the best, Nya. We keep our shops chock full of spangle sparkliest gear we can find and sell it cheap. Power sold for little gold to arm our heroes strong and bold. That's our family motto. Hooray. Now, of course, I don't have the money or the use for most of this stuff. All right, Tangle Deeper. I think down is... Yes, this is where we make the pet corral later. Are you going, miss? This is my monster corral. I've got the magic touch. Wrassle me a knocked out beastie and I'll tame him right up. I reckon I can wrangle up to 12 critters at a time. But you need a monster mallet in order to knock them out. I do not have enough to buy, so. That's a training dummy. This is a place where you can farm. But I don't have any seeds. And this guy, I don't remember what this guy does. I think he, like, teleports you to, like, challenge rooms or something. Careful out there, the disposable stream and you're very well. Uh frog. Those two trees do there we go. Damn. Today's a big day. I'm so excited for you. Have you spoken with to Erin at the campfire yet? She'll give you rumors that will help you guide your journey into Tangle Deep. You'll even learn, earn rewards for investigating them. I've heard some rumors myself, things I couldn't quite believe. Everyone knows about the monsters and ruffians hanging out just ahead in the follies. The be but beyond that, everything is shrouded in mystery. People have brought back powerful ancient gear, and there are stories of ruined old cities, valleys made of fungus and metal that lives. If even half of that is true, well, you're in for some adventure, that's for sure. The greatest treasure of all is knowledge. What's up there? What's at the end? Is there even an end? There's so much we don't know about where we came from. Your heroism will help us all. I'll do my best. Now it's time for me to go die. Play the two tutorial floors. And we got some monster echoes. Which heal you, by the way. Whenever you're a... Whenever you're a soul... Whatever. Soul keeper. Now, you are on a grid whenever you're in an actual dungeon. remember how to skip a turn. What is this? This is... This is new. Oh my god. Welcome back! I don't remember how to skip a turn.
Yeah, with my nice uh, crossbow. I filled a flask, got a treasure. Hey, I found a sling for free. Four-way menu said it was, you said it was new. Well, I don't know if it's new. I just know that I don't remember it. That's that's probably the best clock one. Saw shiny. see how many friggin' echoes I have. Free pass of all power-ups provide echoes which can be used to fuel Soul Keeper abilities. Yes, but I don't remember how many echoes I have. Fine. Mm. I don't really need this. I can see it now. Here lies Kate, who ran out of weapons and threw rocks at monsters until they ate her. People chuckle when they see it, but I don't care. If I could put a rock in a monster's eye from a distance, I'm winning. I already have this. I don't need it. My very own homegrown black eye delivery system. Fists. How many echoes do I have? I have five echoes. Take a sword. Burning short sword of frog slaying. Hell yeah. die in the tutorial section. Restore 113 health over five turns. Yay! All right. So, if I'm using crossbows, swiftness is how I would do more damage with crossbows. Mm. Discipline is also good for my pets. Do, 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 do. 
extra plus three. Uh, let's go with let's go with swiftness. Whoa! A rope strap of familiars. Whoa! What's with all this equipment that I'm getting in the tutorial area that's actually not that bad? Got some running shoes, robes, that's meh, meh, who cares? Who cares about the robes, but... Damage breaks on strength and swiftness, hits enemies, hits enemies. Whips are pretty good. Plus 10% summoned pet health and plus 5% summoned pet defense. chance okay and it automatically equips them but you can you can cycle through with uh, if you're using a controller RB and LB or R1 and L1 depending on what what you're used to. Alright. I am now entering the first actual dungeon that's not a... a tutorial area. Now I've gotten stuck in the mud. Awesome. Applewood Grove. Applewood is uh, a good place to start at. To just get you some just get you some apples. Of course. It's a little side area. It's it's useful, you know. Get you some food. Pouch of Stealth. And a simple sling. Missing. It's okay. I got some apples. So I'm gonna eat an apple. Yeah. I got a sapping javelin that doesn't look too good but it might be basic adventure in recipes part one who says you need to be a culinary genius to, genius to create healthful restorative foods because you don't find yourself a campfire and try these simple ingredient combinations you'll love the result fruit bowl any two fruit meat kebabs any two pieces of poultry not fish
amazing. All you need is two, two pieces of fruit. Summons a protective spirit of the elements to fight for you. Must be cast on a tile while an elemental ground effect or terrain such as fire or water. That one was pretty useful too. It's passive though. Parting gifts. Because I, I like the passives. So the battlefield conflicts long past inflicting random ailments on a group of enemies, consumes an echo charge to add two debuffs instead of one. Spirit Walk would be good for getting away from away from people. Like if I'm if I'm about to die, I might be able to turn invisible and get away. I do not. I do not. Thank you, though. Yeah. Look at that. Alright, that was a bad idea. Boom! I've unlocked the Rager feat for this save slot. I'm gonna now select this feat for new characters in this slot. All right. And I got a scroll of job change. Sick. Not want to fight that thing yet. <laughs> Unless I can, you know, shoot at it from afar. Oh no. Escape portal, healing flask. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I don't want to use up all my echoes, like, early, so I don't want to summon just a bunch of things and. I can increase my bow damage more. Or my spirit power. Let's just increase damage for now. I don't remember how to how to tell how many, uh, what's it, how many soul echoes I have, though, and that's, that's becoming a problem. Uh, heavy armor, medium armor. Of physical minus two damage from physical. Mm. 
Minimum 10% chance to dodge skills. Light armor, 5 CT, gain. Move more quietly, plus 5% dodge. I don't know, man. Minus 0.2% defense. Why would robes be less deep or give me more defense? Even if it's only a 0.2%. You know what? Sure, I'll go heavy. Pebble Pouch of Foraging grants the ability Throw Stone, plus 4% Power Up Drop Rate, plus 2 core stats. Monsters less likely to notice you, plus 15% Stealth. Well, that will counteract my... Ooh, yeah, Sapping Javelin. Rarity uncommon, basic attack, 25% thing. Targets resistance on crit root your target. Critical hits reduce enemies. Blah, 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 blah. I was replacing the short sword of frog slaying. I never actually looked at that. Plus 30% damage to frogs. Attack fire. Attack element is fire plus 20 power. Maybe this is just because I'm a little a little wiener and bad at this video game, but uh, one thing that I would definitely suggest is to just kill as many little things as possible until you level up uh, a little more. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, these are my echoes. I've collected an echo of fall a fallen enemy. Can I only have five? Is five my max? These little salamanders are what I got that uh, fire breath from in that in that one run that I did where I had fire breath. It's really good. Carrot patch. Sure, I'll go get carrots. Please take one. Honor system. I've never found if that is a bad thing to take all of them. Yeah. Iron Claymore. I also got some shoes. Some sturdy boots set through the mud with no penalty. Uh, I'll keep these because I do get something, you know? Do, 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 do. 
22 turns. Applewood Grove. Yep. Alright. Get up there. And some essential monster oils. Great. Uh, I actually have... Quite a bit of money now. Quite a bit of job points. Uh, Echo Bolts, Call Elemental Spirit would be helpful. Stamina, 10 energy, 10 echoes. How do I can only hold five. And the tier 3 passive bonus is the ability to hold 8 instead of 5. can make all right never mind just go back just go back because I need a second what's all that noise sounds like something is making a ruckus at Riverstone Grove that's where the monster corral is I'd better check it out and that's why I'm coming back here Yes. <laughs> Consecrated chalice. Some summons a spreading pool of blessed water that restores about three percent max health per turn to friendly characters. The pool lasts six turns. So all in all, that's like 18% of your max health. Mm. Shields are really good. I almost always have a shield, but... <coughs> Always clutch. Oh, you there? One of my critters escaped during bath time, and I need him back in the corral. Lend me a hand, would you? Attack the beastie till it has 15 health or lower. 15% health or lower. Then grab that monster mallet and use it from your inventory to knock out the critter and bring her over here. Teaching me how to. Capture monsters. Nice job wrangling that frog, miss. Now that it's knocked out, you can drag it over here to the corral and we'll get him nice and situated. No need to worry about your critter waking up either. That frog is proper knackered and won't move on its own. I brought a monster. Give this monster a name! If you don't write one, Jesse will. 
name it for you. Stampy, Chella, Duke, Mango, Dumbo, Champ, Rofonzo, Orange Joe. That's the name. Thank you kindly, miss. Now that he's back in the pen, Orange Joe looks as happy as could be. I say he took a lock into you. Oh, gurgle for... Dang it. You've been exploring in Tango Deep, have you? I bet you could use a companion. Well, of course you can. But even the toughest scrappers can benefit from a well-trained monster by their side. You can buddy up with any monster in the corral if they're happy enough, and they'll follow you wherever you go. Any healing artifacts you use will heal your pet. But they ain't invincible. I recommend some pet insurance, in case things get hairy out there. Can my monsters get stronger? Sure, your pet beastie will gain experience when you do. And it can even level up. Even a scrawny monster can become a real slugger with enough XP. Now, there is an another way to make your pet pals even stronger. You'll need a couple of captured monsters that feel nice and friendly toward each other. Find some rose petals and well, you might end up with a new critter that's even more powerful. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, I do have some rose petals. I'm going to put them in my storage box real quick. Because, uh... One of the reasons I was never able to breed any good pets was because I could never find any rose petals. So I'm just going to store some stuff. Uh, and I can make some trees. Let's plant some trees. Plant a shining dazzle leaf. Let's view monsters real quick. Let's view monsters real quick. Happiness is happy. Let's groom. Right, I forgot that it costs money. Brush and trim. <gasps> brush, brush, clip, clip. Orange Joe loves the attention. They look better now, too. A little bit happier now. common. Stats ain't that great. Got frog hop and fungal regenerate though, so that's cool. I can't actually look at fungal regenerate. Let's buddy up! That's right! And, and we'll buy some pet insurance, that way if it dies... It'll be able to uh, come back here instead of actually dying. Tell me another rumor. Delight the box of mince loving crabbed. There's an unusual box of mince loving crabbed in Cedar Cavern's third floor that hoards boxes of mints. Drop one of those near the monster and see what happens. And I'll get a robe of robes of toxicity? Hell yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, to Cedar Caverns. Raja. Oh ho ho, a traveler. I've not seen one like you for a long time. I am Raja. NCL, humble wandering ch chef. Would you like to hear two of my finest recipes? Sure. Here's a favor to two. Pumpkin bread requires one pumpkin, one bag of grain. Charcuterie. Charcuterie? Requires one meat or fish, 
one cheese and one additional meat or cheese. Let us cook something. You can cook a single ingredient here and get a powerful restorative meal in return. You can eat this any time. If you need to restore all your stats now, you could rest here instead. Either way, the fire will die out. All right, I'm gonna get the campfire meat. I'm gonna cook campfire meat for 66% health. Cause at the moment, most of the stuff that I need is freaking health related. All right. Cave stalker. I needed to beat those with shadow damage. Yeah, shoot it. Dude, Orange Joe is going great. Minus one damage from physical. Uh, plus 15 health. Nope. Another pair of sturdy boots. Nope. You need to find me uh, a shield. Ooh, a hand axe. Salvo shadow boats in the round area. 25 energy, echoes needed one. Nice. Alright, I want I want the orange Joe. Uh recipes. Monsterpedia. And I'm pretty sure you can catch any monsters as well. So anything can be your pet, pretty much. Sadly, there is a very low level cap. I've, I think like 10 or 20, which you can get to really easily and still not be strong enough to, to, to deal with like certain things. Or maybe that goes up as you like go forward in the story but or make your make your way farther doesn't doesn't work for for me though because I've never been able to beat like the the first boss of the of the game you 
know, that's where luck comes in. Who doesn't love chocolate? I learned how to make cheese flan and mint fudge. nice. I forgot to buy a pet mallet, though. I forgot to buy a monster mallet to smash somebody over the head and get me another pet. It's a lightning! It's a lightning jelly. His name is Plor Plorpy! I also learned that move from a lightning jelly. Uh, as that... As that, uh, one class that I don't have anymore. <laughs> Boost element defense, buff duration, summoned pet HP, staff damage. Let's go with spirit. Instinctive region heals orange Joe. So he just has regeneration. That's useful. When is Orange Joe going to go up a level, though? Alrighty. I will hopefully have Orange Joe leveled up a little bit. Have fun with the housework, man. see it because you couldn't couldn't shoot it because it was covered by a wall yeah but you always if if I go forward he's definitely going to uh, lose effectiveness if I go go forward fairies choker chance when struck to reduce random ability cooldown. Hmm. Your pets are gonna definitely be like one of your biggest things to get you through things. So, leveling them up is
super useful. So even if he's doing fine on his own. A small mystery egg. Well. Someone's a random weak monster to fight for you. Right, I forgot about those. Caltrops are good too. Summons a whole bunch of food. I'm getting so many more of those than I remembered. Reverberate monster. You know, this whole this whole class is basically about like summoning things. I am really not using summon stuff very much. Simple codex. That's an offhand weapon. Not weapon, but. Minus 5% energy costs and plus 10% spirit power. Pets are best uh, whenever you have a ranged weapon as well. Because they can they can take on whatever's closest while you just shoot at them. Oh no. Box opens, all must monsters will become tougher permanently. I forgot about those. to stand right there where it's like burning and will hurt you wait I have a box of men's I saw that it was the one that I needed to feed. Now I got robes of toxicity. Now I can. 6% chance to leave a pool of acid behind.
I come from a family of farmers, been growing things since my great grand froggy's days. A buddy of mine, stingiest merchant you ever saw, once told me that money don't grow on trees. Well, these webbed hands of mine are meant for growing things, so I took him up on that challenge. Started planting every seed I could find. One day I finally did it. Must have been the last bunch of odd seeds I found. But the sapling bears real gemstones. I ain't a young frog anymore, though, so all I can do now is leave the fruits of my labor to my children and hope they continue to grow wondrous things for years to come, Farmer Court. If I remember correctly, you can actually, like, breed the fungal regeneration into something else that's better than the frog. Orange Joe, you're doing so good, though. provide echoes which can be used to fuel soul keeper abilities. long past to inflict random ailments on a group of enemies. Consumes an echo charge to add two debuffs instead of one. Alright, I now have three monster summoning abilities. Stairway to Cedar Caverns. Fourth floor. Let's cook something another campfire meat, please. There we go. Takes a little bit. Takes a few turns. Hail, brave warrior. Yes, I've been watching your skills grow with each passing day. It is time you learn the paths to weapon mastery. Come and see me and I will teach you. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Sell that, sell that. Keep that, sell that. Keep that, sell that. Ding, ding. Sell that, sell that. Sell the guitar. Sword, sword of stealth. Two hand axes. Hood, sturdy boots. Hide armor. Da, 
da 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 Yeah, I'm happy you're here. I'll give you a cheer. Go beat the monsters with my sweet gear. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, rose petals. That's all the stuff that I sold to. To her. Shadow Shuriken. Let us buy items. Brined fish. I don't know what CT is. Sadly. So I, I don't really know. Alright. What are weapon masteries? By drawing from your battle experiences, that is, by spending job points, I can teach you powerful techniques unique to each weapon type. These skills may only be used while you are wielding a specific weapon type, such as swords, axes, or bows. Some are passive and need not be equipped or nor activated. Their power is active when you wield the right weapon in your main hand. You may learn multiple masteries if you have enough JP, but you can only master you can master only one ultimate technique. I'm pretty sure that crossbows con are considered bows. Yeah. Jumping shot. The bow is most noble ranged weapon hitting targets from the greatest distance. Its mastery is focused on precision attacks and keeping distance. The first mastery is jumping shot. Use it to leap to a nearby tile, firing an arrow at a random enemy at the same time. Nope. Cannot afford it. School items. Put that in there. Since your last visit, your trees have produced one goods. Do you want to harvest all goods directly to your inventory? Leave it. But I picked up an aquamarine leaf. Buy mallet. Buy a monster mallet. Joe is level four. Family frog. It's it's really dumb to to not take orange Joe. He's insured. <laughs> Tell me, discover Jelly Grotto. All I have to do is discover it. Nice.
Echo of Goliath Beetle. Monsters become tougher permanently. Do it anyway. Uh, melee damage and physical defense. Learned a f earned a flask infusion for reaching level 5. Select which one I'd like. Tea leaf restores 3 stamina and energy per turn while flask is active. Citrus boosts attack and defense by 10% while flask is active. Ooh, I like that one. I'm more of a citrus guy than a making my, my healing flask taste like tea is... Rather, it tastes like oranges or something, you know? Holy crap! Scar the Panthox! HP totaling increases ranged dodge. Oh my god. See, it just killed Joe. It's a good thing that I had him uh, insured. See if I can get this. No. Non champion monster. Ah, oh, man. Sheltering. <gasps> wow. Hmm. All right. See though, my, my orange Joe got taken out really fast. Aracudas. Yesterday I asked my friend Sando if he would rather fight one extremely large moss jelly or a whole bunch of tiny ones. He insisted that he would prefer to do battle with the large one, while I felt confident I could handle the tiny ones. Thus, we set out to prove which opinion was more correct. At the end of the day, we came to an agreement that we would both prefer not fighting moss jellies at all. We are now in desperate need of a bath. <gasps> Excuse me. All right. 
Let's just, just check it. Echoes needed three. Like summon me a water spirit. More rose petals? Holy crap. I'm getting so many rose petals. There's three echoes. Oh, God dang it. There we go. Break it paralyzed. No. Oh, my God. Alright, I'm getting a crab. <laughs> Alright. Now escaping dungeon with crab. Alright. I got me a crab pet with, like... Crazy paralysis and freaking bleed. Well, it looks like old Orange Joe's as happy as could be. You know, if you're not too keen on buddying up anymore. Wait, that's not the the voice I gave her. Maybe it's time to release him back to Tangle Deep so they can roam free again. Why would I do that? Well, when you release a happy, a truly happy monster from the corral, it might want to help you out one day. I've heard folks saying they've seen happy monsters write letters with some kind of power inside. Can you imagine that? I don't think monsters know how to write. Believe what you'd like. But I'll bet it's true. A truly happy monster writing a letter containing the power to teach one of your other monsters it could happen. Brought a monster. F? F for what? Gurgleferg? Gurgleferg. Well, I was naming it Gurgleferg. That's the name. Oh, you want another one named Gurgleferg? Oh uh, no, my crab is unhappy. Picked up the citrine. Cool. The Ferg. All right. Uh, feed. Ah, crap. I don't know what it likes. Uh, maybe let's give it an apple. It was okay. Assume fish. Yeah, 
but I only have this brine fish. It was okay. Doesn't like baths, but they look much better now. Well, now we know that the crab doesn't like baths. I need the crab to be happy, otherwise I can't take it out with me. Da -da 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 -da. Feelings toward Orange Joe neutral. They're at max beauty, though. This crab is. Gurgleferg. Powers crab grab. Unhappy still. Does it become happier innately over time? No, you have to feed it what it likes, and you have to groom it. But grooming takes money. Maybe it becomes happier over time, but I don't remember it. If it's happy enough that you could take it with you, I think it becomes happy while you're, like, hanging out with it. It's a monster corral. Raising monsters. Hello! I'm doing better now. How about you? You're goid. Well, you didn't think you could just plop the critters in my lap and go off adventuring now, did you? You'd miss out on giving love and attention to your monsters. You could feed them all sorts of food. Every monster has their own taste, so try different foods to see what they like. Finding the right food will make them happier much quicker. For a small fee, I can groom your monsters too. Make them look real pretty and happier too. I can take Orange Joe with me again, but he died like really easily in that new area. See if he likes carrots. I got 12 carrots. It was okay. How about bananas? Do you like bananas? You... Oh, well, they just like being fed. But... If you find what they, they like the most, you get a bigger... A bigger piece of... How about a box of mints? You want a box of mints? It was okay. You just picked up this chocolate bar. Here, you can have it. I know it's probably bad for you, but... Here, have some fine cheese. This is Tangle Deep. A, uh, dungeon crawler roguelike. Trying to get my my crab here, Gurgleferg, happy enough that it'll want to come with me. Also, if I can if I can get monsters that like want to bang, then I can get. I can, uh, make them 
create babies. Fantasy? Yeah, fantasy. Alright, I will take Orange Joe with me again and get insurance. That way it doesn't permanently die. Two days since it's been planted. A citrine! They shine like fireflies. I'd take cute fireflies over the, these grotto flyers any day. Ferg. Time to fight more crabs. I should have bought me another monster mallet to get another pet while I was out. Yeah, I just forgot. I just forgot. It doesn't tell me how much experience it needs. It's okay. I can just go back. Might want to get a, a panthox next. It's not dead. All right. Now back to the monster corral once more. And here's a cool thing uh, about this. Uh, you can go ahead and get a bunch of like weak monsters and you can make them strong later on. Waggles. Who wants to name this Panthox? It's miserable and it's ugly. It's repulsive. Feelings or 
gurgle for our neutrals. Later on, you can, uh... Basically, what you do with the, uh, with the rose petals is you make a... You make a romantic meal, and then you... <laughs> you make the... You make them eat the romantic meal together, and then... Uh, if, if it all goes well, then, then they get busy that night. better now too and you can you know by grooming them you can up their beauty so it's it's not like they they stay ugly forever One more monster mallet, uh, and then I'll get something different. But it's time to go on to the next floor. Actually, freaking electric jellies are actually pretty good. At least I had an electric jelly that was pretty good. Bother fighting with swords and bows when you could throw things I sell at your enemies instead. Just be careful, we wouldn't want any of that stuff spilling on you. Oh boy, that would be bad. So he got like bombs and stuff. Wooden crossbow. Plus 30% extra damage. Mmm. Mmm. It's not that bad. 30% extra damage. It's... It's not a good one, though. It doesn't have any magic effects on it or anything. Yeah. It 
Equip slot one. Unequip. Also unequip, because I only use these two. If I had something better, then I would use them, but I don't. Ugh. This sucks. I have to walk through fire. Oh, no. Should I try to catch that bandit? As a pet? needs to, you know, take some damage. Kill the frog first. Ooh! Bam! We now have a bandit. Ready to be put in the thing. I have summons? Yeah, I have summons. Well, lass, did you manage to find those rose petals? Blimey, you're something else, you know that. All that's left is to hand over a meal cooked with those petals, and we'll feed it to a couple of your monsters. Oh, and you're sure to find more rose petals. You can cook with them as often as you like. What about the summons, though? Just that I have them? Alright. What shall we name this boy? Puffles the Bandit. Konami. Konami. Man, he is he is not happy that I that I caught him. Dodge boost in Venom Weapon Kunai Toss. Let's make him bang the frog. Oh, apparently they do go up. Or did he go up because I groomed him? Panty, I mean. Did Panty go up because I groomed? Or... I picked up a freeze vial because Konami fetched an item. because I all right here have an apple it was okay have a carrot it was okay all right well it's Konami now Shock ring. Wait a second. Hold on. Shock ring. 
I am in tune with divine. We shine together. We spark of life and rancor of storms. Plus 15% lightning damage dealt. Well, I don't have anything that does lightning damage. Lucky running shoes. More gold from monsters plus two core stats. Well, let's replace my normal ones then. Confident wooden crossbow. Amazing how I would find a wooden crossbow. I, I, how I would find a better crossbow right after I spent money to buy one. And this one is much better than my other one. And a spear. Basic attacks pierce 25% of target's resistance. On crit, root your target. Okay, hold on. Toggle. Transform collected echoes into extra power for your basic projectile attacks. Uses one echo per basic projectile attack to deal extra damage while also lowering monster's elemental resist. I think I would rather have my bow ability. Jumping shot. That way I can, like, get out of there if I need to. I don't want that on there. There we go. I'm good with everything else. Now I have a movement ability that doesn't need... Uh... Predator passive skill armed with a technique you can deal extra damage to monsters who have no nearby allies 700 JP Now I have a movement skill that doesn't require echoes Technically like spirit walk or whatever it's called. Yeah spirit walk requires requires an echo Cook a fruit salad. A romantic fruit bowl. Yup. Now, I don't remember if I have to actually, like, if they have to like each other already. Couple of friendly critters, who, mo who knows what might happen. Alright, let's see. Neutral, neutral, neutral. Neutral, neutral, neutral. I can make them share it anyway. I don't remember if that actually makes them like each other, though. Told you, Konami, I was gonna make you bang this frog. This meal will help these monsters develop their friendship. See how they feel about each other. Oh, they like each other now. They strongly like. Well, Orange Joe likes Konami. <gasps> Konami likes Orange Joe, too. Mm. 
that stabby stabby bandit there. I'm gonna make these. I'm gonna make them bang. Make that bandit bang that frog. Tell me more. Try a spooked electro jelly. have any easy way of doing shadow damage. No thanks. Alrighty then. Take my Little buddy, Orange Joe, once more to the breach. We haven't really been doing anything, have we? Is that it'd probably be easier if I actually used my mouse and and keyboard. I found more. More roses for the for the pets. Another staircase, people. Congratula congratulations, you have unlocked the notorious feat for this save slot. You may now select this feat for new characters in this slot.
There's, I, I'm not finding any more friggin any more stairs. Things like to throw you all the way across the room. Looks like I just, I'm in the wrong spot. Died. Jelly Grotto? Here's Jelly Grotto. I got a bull short sword. I want an iron claymore. Goody. Spectacles of cleverness? Oh, Jelly Boo, Jelly Boo, where are you? Come on out, you little pile of goo. My poor bleh, pet. Is everything okay? I came here with my pet Jelly to help get her socialized with other slimes here, but she blurped away when I wasn't looking. Now who knows what kind of dang old trouble she's in. I'm not much for one for fighting, so I can't go looking. I can look for you. You do bleh, that for me? That's super nice. Electric jellies are way better than... Um, your master is looking for you. Blorp, blorp, blorp. Yeah, that's right. It said worthless on your name, bro. Do you think you can stand up to me? You're trying to fight me? 
Whatever the game itself is telling me that you're worthless. Well, I'll be darned. You found my jelly boo. I don't know what I would do if anything happened to this dumb old goober. Thank you. You're a real gem. I owe you one. Got anything that might be useful to me? Uh, found some tree seeds in blurp. In my blurp. In my pocket. Here you go. Wow, gee, thanks. I'm actually cool with that. Give me reward for finding your slime. I would like a pet slime. Ah, that's fire. Turtling! What just happened? I wasn't paying attention. Wait a second. I killed myself. No wonder I didn't notice what happened. How did I kill myself? Kate was lost in Tangle Deep, but perhaps a memory of you will live on. You were defeated by Kate in Cedar Caverns. No wonder I don't know what's what happened. Why did I die? Was I wearing acid clothes? No. I took those off. And I was about to level up, too. I don't know. I apparently killed myself. Kate jabs Kate for 43 damage. I was apparently hitting myself somehow? That... I f come on. Come on. That's not cool. I didn't even know you could hit yourself. Started over with the same character. Wait. Nah, I got the stuff. Delight the fruit bowl loving grotto flyer, and then I'll get sturdy boots of foraging. Sure. At least I get to keep the recipes that I learned and the and the monsters that I've fought. Man, come on. <laughs> 
New tree just blipped up there out of nowhere. I didn't plan it, nope. It's got some writing, looks like a name of a blip person I once knew. See for yourself. I'll leave it. Look, my tree. Described here are the names of adventurers lost in the forests of Tangle Deep. Killed herself. Dude. That's such bull crap. <laughs> so stupid. Come on, Orange Joe. Are you still- you didn't die. Are you still under- You're not under insurance anymore. cheated on that, but No, I just tried to attack myself and I can't. Maybe I should have changed classes. Give me spirit walk. Summon soul shade. Infested vermin. <laughs> Short sword of frost. Nice. lame. I don't need to... I don't need to actually, you know, worry about that one. I need to get my gosh darn levels back. Poison. Maybe I died from poison or something. All 
All right, time to go find his pet again. Spiritual running shoes. Apprentice's Staff of Elemental Bolts. Damage based on spirit and discipline. Adds one base spirit power per level. Ooh. When using a damaging elemental skill, 33% chance to hit random enemy for 75% of spirit power as your last used element. Perfect way to learn to focus flow at the start of training. Thank you for the seed. Give me your seed! What area now free of monsters? Banquo, eh? Fancy meeting an adventurer like you here. This is the perfect place to get some work done, nice and quiet. What are you working on? You might say I've got a lot of irons in the fire. <laughs> Nothing, my kids loved that one. Anyway, I take gems and smelt them into accessories. It's a bit unpredictable, but if you got a gem, I can show you. I'll take the most valuable gem you got. Here you go. I got no gems. Definitely wasn't the seed line. What, give me your seed? Oh, I want fruit. No, I don't want to hurt you. You just want a fruit bowl. All right, I will go and make you a fruit bowl. I should be back. Let us make fruit bowl. There we go. Fruit bowl. for the firefly.
I got some sturdy boots of foraging now. Power up drop rate. Yeah, I got two pairs of shoes on. What about it? Spider dropped a big old wheel of cheese. Don't you love it whenever you kill a spider and it drops a wheel of cheese for you? I love it. It's my favorite. The spider cheese. Love my wheel of spider cheese. Sadly, that's not going to happen. I said I might do that. But welcome back, fucking me. How you been? Because tomorrow, I have talked my mother into playing Dark Souls 1. So we're gonna... We're gonna get to see a complete beginner play Dark Souls 1 instead. However, I might... I might make Parasite Eve a, uh... What was I doing on Fridays? I don't even know. I don't even remember. That's elder abuse. She's not an elder. She's not old. <laughs> Look, I admit that this. I admit exactly what this is, which is. Uh, me exploiting her uh, noobness for views. Okay. AARP? I don't know what that is. So probably not. And I'm only gonna make her do it once. If she wants to keep going, then then we will, but if she's like, I don't wanna do this again, then I'm not gonna make her. And then, then there will be the, uh, the what's it? The Parasite Eve on Thursdays. When she decides, she gives up.
or whenever she wins. Because I believe in her. If she gives up or whenever she wins the game. Like if she's over 50, she's got AARP, free Dunkin' Donuts, cheap train slash bus rides, etc. She's not over 50. going on right now God Oh That was rough Seven hundred and thirty. Wow. She is only forty eight. Or is she forty nine now? Hmm. I think she's still forty eight. I am. I'm afraid, though. Afraid of the horror. No, not really. I'm, a, I'm afraid that it's going to be bad. That's, that's what I'm afraid of. Or that I won't like it. The spiny maze to the spiny maze. shield nice that's what that was I was blocking blocking <laughs> plus 10 fire and lightning okay. plus five gallon swiftness extra damage based on HP lost recently dual wield bonus Spiny. Na, 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 big spiny. Yeah. All right. Have I played any games by Super Giant? Uh, yes, yes, I have. Also, Psychonauts is only 99 cents if I'm looking for a replacement for the Alice games. Uh, I haven't been, and Psychonauts is amazing. I, I've, I've played it before. Love that game. 
and I might be, I might go ahead and uh, get it if it's only 99 cents. So thank you for telling me about that. And yeah, I've uh, I've I've played a, uh, I've played Bastion. That that's the Super Giant game I've played. At least that that's them, right? Super Giant. I might be mis mixing people up, mixing studios up. They made Bastion, uh, Hades, Transistor. Oh, then I'll probably get it tonight. I'll probably get it in a few minutes. Since it's almost 11. <gasps> I found a monster mallet for free? Wow. don't know where I am oh there's the there's the stairs there it is splint mail of treasures hmm. equip uh, corral pets heal for 15% and oh okay well, that's better Continue going down. Plus 30% damage. Just picked up Tetris Effect on Steams since it finally got a Steam release. Tetris. Uh, what's what's the difference between that and basic Tetris? Does it have like special effects? Damage based on spirit and disciple. This boom. Mm. Plus thirty percent damage to beasts. Let's go back to town and yep 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 I know I can be now master weapons all right this was just a one-off uh, because Castlevania 4 made me so sad If anybody wants me to play this ever again, then I like this game, but <laughs> but it's not it's not necessary. Tetris Effect has modular sound slash music design, a time stop feature that allows you to do like a 20 line clear. I know you had no complaints, but. And it has VR support. I just don't like Tetris, period, because I'm bad at it. So. Changing it doesn't make it better <laughs> for me. Sell, sell. Sell, sell. Sell that. All right. Tetris in VR is just even worse. 
flowering spice bark, and a shining dazzle leaf. Do I have any more? Nope. Alright, I've planted more trees. Planted more trees now. Alright. And as I have failed Castlevania 4 earlier, and decided to play this to cool myself off because I was incredibly sad and frustrated by getting to Dracula on Castlevania 4, and it's just so unfair. It's so hard. <sighs> That's gonna be it for tonight. It was. It was. I was so defeated and sad. It's the best Tetris game for viewers, in your opinion. Well, I am bad at Tetris and I shall never play it. But I hope you enjoy it. Well, thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And I hope you all have a good night. <laughs>